You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. People have this impression that I'm a very fulfilled woman, a classy lady living on top of her world. But it's not just an impression, ma'am. It is the truth. It is the truth. You are a fulfilled woman by every standard. A lot of women out there are praying so hard to be like you. You are quite an inspiration. That's what you feel. The truth is, I'm a troubled woman. Troubled? Uh, well, I'm sorry, ma'am. But how is that? How possible can that be? How can you say that you're a troubled woman? How? I've been looking around. Somehow I feel you're the one who could help me in this. Help you out with what, ma'am? Look, just tell me whatever it is. I will do it. Let me start by asking a personal question. Are you into any serious relationship right now? Well, I don't know why you would ask that, ma'am. But I will answer you because of the respect I have for you. I am not in any relationship presently. Although I have suitors, I've got suitors here and there. Although I haven't seen a committed one. Okay. What if I introduce you to a job that could possibly lead into a relationship. Would you do it? I trust you absolutely, ma'am. And I believe you have my interest at heart. So tell me whatever it is you want me to do, and I will do it. I knew, I knew that I could trust you. Oh, okay, ma'am. You said something about being troubled. Please, can you share it with me? It's all connected, my dear. I'll brief you the details later. Well, under normal circumstance, nothing stops me from coming to live in that house with you. Nothing. You know it yourself that I do not have any problem with you living with me. Well, I have a problem with that because you wouldn't let me have peace. I put up this structure here so that I can just have peace. Son, you know you're lying. I am doing what every responsible mother should do. That's not true, Mom. You are doing what I don't want. You are stressing me out, Mother. I am your son, not a child. I'm an adult. I'm a pilot who flies a commercial aircraft via different routes every week. Every week I fly international, Mom. I need to be in the best shape to do my job. We've talked about this over and over again. It's not the first time. It's you, Bob. We have plenty of time for this discussion. Hmm? Please go and get me something to eat. But you, did you come to this house because of food? Yeah, I know. Is there anything wrong for me to come to my son's house to eat? Because you can get them in the
<laughs> You're not serious. <laughs> You're not serious. Anyway. <laughs> Your food is burning. Huh? Oh my god! Oh my god! As usual, the food is completely burnt, and there's nothing left for us to eat, right? My love, I'm sorry. It skipped my mind that I had something on fire. <laughs> this is the height of it all! That it skipped your mind that it had something on the fire! What is wrong with you, Lara? What? I'm sorry. Do I need to remind you that this wasn't the first time you say you're sorry? 24 hours of the day you're busy pressing your front from morning to night without doing any other thing in this house. I'm sorry. It won't repeat again. I promise. You've said this several. But nothing good has come out of it. Okay, Jeremy. This was a mistake. An honest mistake. And it can happen to anyone. I have said I am sorry. I'm sorry, baby, okay? Don't worry, just relax, okay? I'll fix you something else to eat. Okay, my love? Mm. Relax. I'll be back. Huh? Hmm? Lara wasn't like this when we were cutting. What is going on? Millie, why are you staring at me like you don't trust me? This is not about trust. This is about knowing the man I'm going out with. Breaking my heart with those words. I mean, how can you talk like that? You know, I love you from the depth of my heart. And when you talk like that, you break me down. Why are you not getting it? Why are you not getting the point? I was with my friends yesterday and they were making jest of me. Making jest of you based on what? They say your stock in trade is to date married women and feed fat on them. That's an insult on my personality now. That is an insult. I mean, how can your friends cast a passion on me and you didn't turn them down? You didn't do anything? What do you want me to say? When your secret calls and everything lay credence to what they are saying. She is not even aware that dating married women has become big business. Gerard, you're not saying anything. There is nothing to say. Millie, there is nothing to say. I mean, it, it hurts that you don't trust me. I don't have anything with other women, let alone married ones. I am not. Your friends are only jealous. You are enough for me. I love you from the depth of my heart. 
You see, your friends are just jealous. Okay? Please. I love you and I'm not ready to leave you. Cross my heart. I love you. That's what I do. Oh, well, if you insist on eating something, I can get Paul to make you noodles. Are we not tired of eating noodles in this house? Why can't you get a woman to cook proper food for you? Ah, why did I not see this coming? A woman. Huh? <laughs> woman. All the time. Every time you visit me. Woman, woman, woman. Well, I'm doing something about it very soon. You know, you see what I come up with. And I know that's exactly what you're going to say in return. Humphrey, getting married is for you and not for me. You getting married is becoming a long walk to freedom. And I don't like it. You agree now that the reason you're here is not because you're hungry and want to eat. Huh? You're here because you want to talk. I mean to getting married. Uh, Paul! All of the above. Are you not tired of staying alone? Paul! Ah, um, make her something to eat. Ask her what she wants. Okay, master. Mommy. <laughs> Mommy, what would you like me to, to make for you? Um, Paul, it's fine. Um, you can go. Clearly, my mother is demanding water, bachelor. Clearly, cannot have in his home, so it's fine. You, you can go. Oh, okay, sir. But, sir, I can still prepare what she's saying. Just that she has to wait so I can go to the market and prepare it. No, oh, no, no, no. I don't think she's hungry. You can go. Uh. That's exactly what I'm saying. Humphrey, at your age, you're still a proud bachelor. June 18th. Three weeks from now, you will be 41 years. Eh? What can name? What is stopping you from getting married and raised children? Mom, can we change the topic? No. Let's deal with it now, once and for all. Oh, Guinea. Because I'm paranoid right now. I want my grandchildren, and you must give them to me. Hmm. All right. I hear you. I'll do something about it. Now I'm ready to eat whatever you're going to offer. You're hungry now. You want to eat? Yes, I want to eat. No, you know this whole thing sounds like tales by phone pets. <laughs> Forgive me for laughing, but it, it sounds like fiction. Mm. Are you are you did you make this up or happen for it? How can I? No, because it beats my imagination. I I, I still do not believe and agree with you. Nonyene is Sydney, someone who was cooking, would totally forget what she was cooking on the gas cooker and then, you know, sit out and start pressing her phone and then the food got burnt. How pray. No. I, but I have never lied to you once. Honestly, she forgot. And the rice got so burnt that the whole house was just smelling. She was busy sitting out on the seat out, <laughs> pressing her phone. I'm sorry. I'm don't stop laughing at me now. I'm sorry. Oh, stop. I'm sorry. No, I'm not funny, honestly. No, I'm sorry. It's just that the image is very vivid in my mind. Like, I can almost picture a slave queen sitting down with her nails. Make up. Stop. Pressing her phone. Stop. And then stop. 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 your house was in flames. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously speaking, look, you need to have a conversation with her. Have you tried that? Like, call her to order. You know, tell her that what she's doing is not right. Of course. Of course. I, I have done that countless times. I have sat her down, talked to her, I yeah. advised her to, to, you know, get into the wife that she is. Yeah, sure. But it's just that she, she's just turning from bad to worse every day. Ah. Not good. Not yeah. good. I'm afraid you have more work to do. Bro, you need to talk to her. It's not an easy thing. You need to talk to her. It's a... <laughs> you need to talk to her. I'm sorry, I'm laughing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. He's supporting me, guy. Well, let me say what I want to say. I'm your friend, you came to me. Let me talk. Okay, I'm here. I'm listening to you. Go ahead. I'm just mm. saying. Humphrey, Humphrey, listen. I'm just Humphrey, saying that if you don't laughing. talk to her, no, if you don't talk to her, one day you come out from work. Your house. Humphrey, please, you need to stop this. Please, you need to I stop this. I want to go to the My dear, as a follow-up to our last discussion, listen. I have made up my mind to bring you into the deal. Well, ma'am, you know me very well. I'm a very reliable lady. Even those I've done businesses with will always attest to the fact that I am trustworthy. Oh. I like the sound of that. I'm aware you know my son. The pilot, acknowledged by all as classy, he doesn't know him. He's very popular, ma'am. How would you like to be the woman in his life? I don't know what you mean by that. But with the class he maintains, I am very sure he has a woman in his life, if not women. Let me bust it, bubble. That's the problem I have with him. There is no woman in his life. I want you to be the woman in his life. Unbelievable. Well, I won't say no to you, ma'am. I will not. But the question begging for an answer is, how do we have it executed? That's not a problem. I will personally take you to his house, introduce you as a cook, and ask him to employ you. A cook? If I become the cook, then my place will be in the kitchen. How then do I get to be the main woman? Oh, come on, Ijoma. Don't disappoint me. Look at you. You are well endowed. God has endowed you. You have everything. You'll be employed as a cook. Then you activate the woman in you. He gets you pregnant. Leave the rest to me. <laughs> Mommy, you are naughty. Well, I think I clearly understand where you're headed. It's not something I cannot do. Mm. Good. <laughs> do you know the one that pinches? Yeah, I'm listening. Tell me. I don't want to do that this time around. Honestly, not don't that. I'm not laughing. I'm serious. Tell me. She said she won't get pregnant until she clocks 35 years. Why? What's happening at 35? She still sees herself as a model. She doesn't want to do that shit. <laughs> I mean, she's still expressing some kind of endorsement <laughs> deals. <laughs> yeah, you made a promise you're not going to laugh. I did. Hi! Jay! No one can Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Mm. Hold on. She said, I need to understand. Well, you're dealing with so much, man. Lara is really, really dealing with you. What? It's she said easy. that to you. Honestly. No, are I you have, serious? If I have to tell you what I'm going through in that house, Humphrey, we will not live here today. Okay, my question she is, if she, it's okay to be ambitious, you want to do the things you want to do, it's fine. She should have just waited till, you know, she's satisfied. You know, not get married, remain single. Mm. You know, you know, be a slave queen, you know, parade herself as a model, you know. I want it both ways. Get the marriage, get the singlehood, and still pursue the, the, the endorsement. And how is that playing out now? Enough about me. <laughs> Let's talk about you. Yeah. You said your mother came out. Your mother came early today. It was drama today. Mm -hmm. Ah, you should have been at mine. It was drama, you know. You know, typical mother, she, she came around and told me that, hey, getting old, mm. I have to get married, yeah. she wants grandchildren, you know, typical, you know. I have to clap for her. Why? No, let's face the facts here. What facts? You have a comfortable job, you're tall, you're handsome, you have everything going on well for you. So, tell me, what are you still waiting for? Uh, I'm waiting for lockdown, it's almost time for lockdown, let's go home. It's not your time for lockdown. No, let's, let's keep drinking. We're not having this conversation. I'm not going to deal with my mom mm -hmm. and come here and have to deal with you again. I'm, I'm here to relax. I'm not here to be criticized. Okay? I'm your friend. I'll be the one to tell you the truth. What truth? Marriage is not by force. It's a necessity. 
but not by force. It's a necessity. You have to do it. Who go judge? Abu na nega no raudi or maramo tagi. If your mother did not get my, she won't give birth to you. You know, I don't have to get married to have children. I, this is the argument. Uh -huh. uh, marriage is not solely about procreation. That's why my mentality. Did I wake you up? Where are you coming from? Apologies, adult. Well, I'm just calling you to inform you that I found a very good cook. I will bring her over to your place tomorrow. Trust me. I don't delay when it has to do with your welfare. I'm bringing her over to your place tomorrow. Good night. You see this one? Eh? This is the definition of made in heaven. Mm. See, all this Sora is doing, they will bring gears for him. He will reject them. He keeps rejecting women. See, eh? this one is the final boss stop. He mm. can never say no. Oma mm. Menetea. Yes. I'm even praying for that, for him to reject her. <laughs> My guy, mm. that babe is a machine. Jamma machine. Eh? I'm even craving for her already. Ha. You will not understand. I just pray that our girl will, will, <laughs> will free her for me. My only problem is that I don't know why I will not see beautiful girls like this whenever I'm, I'm in search of women. Yes, na. Who told you that one? Huh? You see them on daily basis. You even see the ones that are more beautiful than this one that came. But your problem is that who jigaka? Understand? So you are just respecting yourself, Mother Major Woman Andy. That is why you don't uh, approach them. I know you very well. Yeah, Andy. Andy, mm -hmm. is that supposed to be an insult or what? Which one is insult? What kind of insult is this? See, let me tell you, for the fact that we work here as domestic workers does not give you the right to insult me. Starting where? Eh? What is the meaning of that nonsense? I don't like it, oh. I don't understand. Oh, am I even better than you? Yes. I won't get you a identity. See, let me tell you the truth. I am far, 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 far more better than you. Forget. You can't you can't get you can't get me. Let me tell you the truth. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you have a bank account? I used to. You used to? Yes. You don't have bank account. You are here to say nonsense. Let me tell you, eh, I have bank account. In fact, savings account. And I have so many things inside that savings account. I've made the no savings. Understand? Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't be talk, 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 talking nonsense. You open your mouth and tell me you are better than me. Mm -hmm. What do you have? You that will make two naira, you, you, you can buy two, and, and carry two babes. You make five naira, you can carry five babes. You open your mouth and say you are better than me. Take, take, take five now. You don't want to take five. No, let me shake myself. Are you mad? See, let me tell you. Okay. Thank you for exposing yourself. Let me see the day I will come to you to lend me money and you say rubbish. Nonsense. No, keep wasting your money on women. Keep wasting it. I'll be saving my own. Tomorrow you're going to be now come and tell me. Eh, eh, lend me money. Lend the book be there. Okay. Hey, baby. Uh, we 
this year you're going out? Maybe an emergency just came up. But I'll be back before you go, okay? Where exactly are you going? Um, there's this endorsement deal that Annie and I have been following up with a new company in town. They just called us for an interview. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Very good news. Yeah. So that means you're going with Annie. Yes, I am. I wish you success. Oh, thank you, Jolene. <laughs> I'll be back, okay? All right. See ya. I love you, babe. Love you too. Oh. Everywhere is so classy as your house. Everything here can become yours if you play your card well. Oh, mommy, you should trust me already. Listen, I understand this game and I'm ready to play it very well. Perfectly. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Mom. Good morning, son. Uh, you're not having anything yet, work. Get them to. We're not here to have anything. This is Ijoma, the cook I told you about. She's going to start handling your cooking from now. Mom, I don't remember having this conversation with you. I never told you that I wanted someone to come cook for me in this house. We didn't talk about it. I don't need you to tell me for me to know that you need to start eating food prepared by a woman. Mom, can we please talk outside? I'm getting a message. We're uh, not done with this conversation. Why do you want us to go outside? Mom? My dear, make yourself comfortable, okay? Is okay. here? No, 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 it's not, don't worry. It's nothing I want to handle it, okay? Let's make yourself comfortable. Okay, ma'am. 